Good morning, YouTube. I wanted to make a quick video and talk about something that's been on my mind recently that I've been wanting to talk about actually for a long time. And that is the Christian Truther channels on YouTube who have a really big following. All right, you have a call for an uprising with 170,000 subscribers. Richie from Boston with 65,000 subscribers. Dabu7 with 272,000 subscribers. Um, you have Christian Truther Channel with 142,000 subscribers. All right, so they have a big following. And it's important to keep up with the work that they're doing to see how they're affecting the church. And I used to keep up with these guys all the time. But I started to get sick of what they were doing. All right, and hear me out. I understand what I'm trying to say. They will put out all these videos every day, exposing the Illuminati, exposing this commercial, you know, saying World War III is coming, declaring the end times. And all this is good. It's good to expose the enemy, expose the works of darkness. The Bible tells us to do that. All right? And these guys do do good work. But at the end of the day, when this is all that they're putting out, they're lacking the true message that people need to hear. All right? And uh, from time to time, they'll talk about Jesus, or maybe they'll say a few words here and there in their videos. But what are they really doing? What answer are they giving to people um, in regards to the end times? And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Because I wanted to say if that if they are true biblical students, then they would understand the importance of preaching the word. Okay, actually getting into doctrine and telling people what the Bible has to say about all this. And they're right. What's coming to pass is coming right out of the Bible. That's important. But what can we do about it? Warn people, yes. Tell them how to get saved, yes. But why are they telling people that they're going to go through this time period? If they were true biblical students, they would know that there's an escape. That there is, in fact, a pre-trib rapture. This isn't a video to debate with those post triggers, okay? Because I'm not going to even get into it. If you want to see some good exposés on the preacher rapture, please visit Husky three nine four XP and watch his videos on the preacher rapture. He absolutely proves it with video upon video, actually going through e almost each book in the New Testament and reading straight out of the scriptures that this is indeed what's going to happen. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving before this time comes, right? And if you haven't figured out how you feel about all that, that's okay. Go do the research and find out and then come back and watch the rest of this video. The point is, is that they have hundreds of thousands of followers. I guarantee you, a lot of them are not even Christians or if they are professing Christians that they're false converts because they follow these guys. They put out videos every single day and watch them and keep up with this. And I see it. And they're following th this fear, fear propaganda, in my opinion, because the Illuminati knows what they're doing. Okay. They know that we're going to pick up on it and expose it and expose it and bring it out. All right. And yes, that's a good thing, but also it's a bad thing because as long as they can keep people focused on fear and on impending doom and they are focused on all these Illuminati exposed videos then they're never really getting into the Bible they're not getting into true doctrine okay and if they're focusing on this all the time well, where is their walk okay because I'll, I'll show you a few scriptures here right So here we got Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, what kind of faith are people having if they're watching these videos all the time? Okay. What are they thinking to themselves, really? Yes, the new world order is coming. The end of days are coming. But what is this time period? We know that it is God's wrath. All right. Specifically, this time period is called the time of Jacob's trouble. And in it, it, it is a time period when God is bringing the Jews back into line 
and revealing to him his godhood in Jesus Christ, which is why the book of Revelation is called that, Revelation. And it is a period where he's just going to absolutely pour out his wrath, and a lot of these people understand this. But where's their faith? Okay? Why do they feel like they're going to go through this time? For one, they never really get into the Bible and study doctrine. They don't understand that there's a way out of it. And all these Christian truthers are putting out these videos every single day, pumping this information into people's minds. Illuminati exposed, Illuminati exposed. And they're not focusing on preaching the gospel and telling people that there's a way out of this. And instead of focusing on all this, we should be promoting the gospel and telling people that there's a way out. And that they should get saved so they can get out, so they can escape the time period that's coming. That's very important. So where do these people's agendas really lie? I'll tell you one thing. I know that these channels take money from Google. Okay? Especially after all these advertisers left. And now people aren't getting paid straight from Google for their videos. They're asking for money now from their followers, which proves they were taking money from Google. How hypocritical is it to take money from the people that you're railing against and exposing all day long? How hypocritical is it to take money from the enemy? That's wrong. Okay? There's still plenty of work that can be done, even if you're working a full-time job. It's called a sacrifice. You sacrifice your time right, to put out information. That's what you need to be doing. And now these people are living off of other people's money when before they were living off of Google's money. I don't think that's necessarily right. In some cases it is when you have proper ministries all right, that are actually putting out the Word of God. But when they're preaching the Illuminati all day long and the New World Order and the end of days and they're not giving people the answer, that's wrong. right? They're not telling people that there's a way out of this. I'll tell you what. If I thought that I was going to go through this time period, I'd be preparing my butt off. You know, I'd be learning survivors, survival skills, um, building up supplies. That's what these people say to do, but they're on YouTube all day long, every single day. You know, why aren't they out there building a bunker, spending all their time learning how to fight, you know, the military, things like this. Anyway, I think it's just wrong. Their agendas are twisted. And I don't really know where their uh, agenda really lies, and th that's the scary thing, you know. The, idea, the whole idea here is that if they were proper Bible students, they would know the importance of preaching the Word of God more than they preach the Illuminati, and making money off of Google, making money off their views, and now living off of other people's money so they can continue exposing the Illuminati. That's not what the Bible told us to do. The Bible said to preach the gospel, not preach the Illuminati. We know the end of days are coming, and they're not giving people an answer. And hundreds of thousands of people are eating this up, and they're in fear of the times to come. And they think if they go through this time, God's going to protect them. It's called God's wrath, okay, on this world. And his wrath is still going to come down on Christians who get saved during this time period, too. The only people who are protected are the 144,000 Jews with the seal of God on their forehead. So this just, it just makes me sick, to be honest. And uh, I think that they're wasting time and wasting a lot of other people's time. Yes, it's good to expose the enemy, show their works, but you have to give an answer, okay? And when you try to reach out to them like I have, tell them that there's a preacher rapture, that they need to preach the Bible more, and they don't do it, and you know they're not doing it, and you know they don't even want to do it, that's a problem. It's a big problem.